These graphs show the blackjack running count, true count, and player advantage as six decks of cards are dealt out randomly. Each time you click the refresh icon at the bottom, another six decks are dealt and graphed, demonstrating how often you can make favorable bets. The graphs are available at this URL. There's a link at the end of the video. This is what it looks like after you load the page. Use the spreadsheet scroll bars to bring the two graphs into view. The gray line shows the running count, which starts at zero, randomly varies above and below the zero line with equal probability, and ends at zero. The blue line shows the true count, which is the running count divided by the number of remaining decks. The true count starts out very stable, but becomes more extreme as the cards are dealt out. The lower graph shows the player advantage. The thin dashed purple line is the basic strategy player edge for a given set of blackjack rules. A good six deck game has an edge of minus six tenths of one percent, as shown here. As the cards are dealt, the player edge varies in proportion to the true count, randomly rising above and falling below the thin dashed baseline with equal probability. You play with an advantage when the graph rises above the solid black 0% line. Casinos typically shuffle when one and a half decks remain in the shoe. For that reason, I show the player advantage as a dashed line after the shuffle point. The pie chart shows the fraction of time that you play with an advantage, green, at a disadvantage, red, and even, gray. You can quickly deal several six-deck shoes to see what typically happens over several hours of play. Let's try that now. Here we see the entire shoe is uh, in, the negative, in the negative column. Let's try again. The same with the next shoe. Even though the count goes positive, the, you can't overcome the house edge here. Let's try again. Another shoe. Ah, here we go. Um, the count turns quite positive here, and uh, we get uh, several hands here where we can play with an advantage of around 1%. Let's try another shoe. Another good shoe, even better, you get to play at around 2% advantage for several hands. Um, this, this shoe is lousy. Um, this one is quite good. We have several hands playing with an advantage of 3%, that's unusual. Be aware that that doesn't mean you're going to win. You might lose several hands in a row just by bad luck. Another lousy shoe. Um, so this demonstrates that you have to be quite patient to uh, win at card counting. For more information, follow the instructional video links below the spreadsheet.